following announcement has been paid for by the Jackass. What's up, nation? It's your boy, ETCW, World Heavyweight Champion. Yo, the world, Craig. Shit, not just the city, the world. The Jersey Jackass. Hit me up on all social media at Real Jackass BC. R E L J A C K A S S B C. Don't forget to follow Cinelinks at Cinelinks. Today, we are checking out Ford v Ferrari. I don't think you can beat Ferrari. Hop on in. Hit this a boy. <laughs> Ford versus Ferrari. Rated PG-13. Tickets available now. So, Ford v Ferrari follows the story of Carol Shelby and Ken Miles as they work within a Ford trying to build the perfect car uh, to defeat Enzo Ferrari at the 24 Hours of Le Mans race uh, in France, and uh, man, damn, this is a good movie. Okay, so it stars Matt Damon, Christian Bale, Patrick Wilson, Josh Lucas, The Punisher, John Barenthal, and Tracy Letts. It's directed by James Mangold. So right off that, right off that, looking at the uh, talent that is involved in this film, you know Okay, this is going to be something good. Walking out of it, I was like, yo, this might definitely be in my top 10 of the year. Uh, and as the days have gone by, I've actually started to think, this might be in my top five. Like, it's that damn good. Matt Damon and Christian Bale give you such an incredible performance. These guys really go all in. And it's it's really, like, I, I forgot I was watching Matt Damon at times, which is really weird to say. Because normally you're always like, oh, it's Matt Damon. So, you know, normally I don't see that. I always see Matt Damon. But this time I really got lost in the character and really enjoyed it. And Bale, Bale always transforms. So what he does with this role is awesome, man. I loved him so much. And their chemistry together is off the charts. The action is shot really well. Uh, it's, really, it's, it's really well done with all the driving and everything that's put into it. And you really feel every single turn and you feel the speed and the power of these GT40s that they're building and they're working with. And man, it's just it's just fun to watch. Now, I did have a couple gripes about the film. Uh, Noah Jupe, Ju I think it is, Jupe, Jope, J J something like that. I don't know, J-U-P-E. Well, he plays Ken Miles' Christian Bale's character's son. He's kind of stale, like, I don't, like, and it's not his fault or nothing. It's just I don't know if, if, if they really they lean in toward the kid a little too much to give, uh, you know, some personal connection to Ken Miles to, to give a little, you know, into his family life. And I don't know if we really needed it. Like, I feel like the connection he has with Shelby was just enough. We didn't have to really delve into his relationship with his family. Also, I think the film goes on for like two scenes too long. Like, there's a clear-cut spot where you're like, okay, this is where it should have ended. This is where we should fade out and then start giving us the title cards telling us, you know, what happened to everybody. But then we go on for, like, two more scenes, and they're really, like, taglines, and they, and they just did not work for me. I didn't think we really needed either of it. I also think uh, the title is a little bit misleading. As it's called Ford v. Ferrari, uh, I kind of expected to see a little bit about Ferrari's, you know delve into this race there's really nothing about ferrari or what they did it's all focused on ford so i think you know we, we could have called it something different you know because there's there's literally like maybe one scene about ferrari and that's you know why why ford wanted to beat them but other than that i found a lot of enjoyment in this film i had a lot of fun with it and i really think it's definitely gonna be in my top five of the year all right, score time. We're given. We're given Ford v. Ferrari a 3.7 out of 5. But wait, yo, we got a little bit of a Jeebus score. A point three for the chemistry between Matt Damon and Christian Bale. That gives us a Jeebus score a 4 out of 5. Did you guys know the story of Ford v. Ferrari going into this movie? Because I sure didn't. So I was really surprised and entertained by the entire thing, not knowing exactly what was going to happen. Are you excited? Are you going to go see this opening night? What do you like better, Ford or Ferrari?
Whatever you thought, make sure you put down some comments down below. Let us know your thoughts on all these questions on this film and more. Hit that subscribe button right over here and click the little bell. You can get notifications for when all of our videos go up. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and share with all your friends. Follow me on all social media at RealJackassBC, R-A-L-J-C-K-A-S-S-B-C. And follow Cinelinks at Cinelinks. And until next time, it is what it is. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation.